Hello everyone. Welcome to All You Need to Know. Today we are talking about mutual fund investment. Share market or equities have provided great returns over the years, but of course, it has its own risk. Most of the people don't have the knowledge, experience, and time to understand the market. So here comes in mutual funds. Mutual fund is a professionally managed investment that invests money from a group of people in stocks, bonds, and securities. In simple words, there will be an experienced fund manager who will invest your money in stocks. The other term associated with mutual funds that we keep hearing is SIP, Systematic Investment Plan. SIP helps to invest in mutual funds periodically, example monthly. Instead of lump sum amount, this will help to even out the market risk. In this case, you can choose an amount and fund, and every month, say rupees two thousand will be invested in X Y Z fund. Now let's look at the types of mutual funds. First type of mutual fund we will consider are equity funds. Equity funds are a kind of mutual fund that invest in the stock markets. Let's look at different types of equity funds. First one is large cap. Large cap mutual funds are those that invest at least eighty percent of the corpus in top hundred companies by market capitalization. These companies are some of the biggest brands in our country. Example: Reliance. HDFC, TCS, Bharti Airtel, Titan, etc. Let's look at some important features. These companies are generally the leaders in their field of businesses. They provide stable returns and have better potential to withstand economic turmoil. They are suitable for less aggressive investors who want to create wealth without taking too much of risk or exposing their corpus. to a lot of volatility second is mid cap mid cap mutual funds are those that invest at least 65% of the corpus in companies lying between 101 to 250 by market capitalization example crompton greaves consumer electricals dilip bilcon gmr group bank of india etc let's look at some of the important features These companies have the potential to become large cap companies in future years. Access to high growth stocks that can give market beating returns. The smaller size makes them more likely to falter during tough market conditions. Third is small cap mutual funds. Small cap equity mutual funds invest in the smallest companies in India. These companies are beyond the top 250 companies and are mostly unheard in our daily lives. Example: Birla Soft, Trident, Graphite India, etc. Let's look at some of the important features. While they can deliver fantastic returns, small cap companies are incredibly volatile, and you can see losses in short to medium term. benefit from investing early in companies that can be top businesses of future exposure to high risk as small companies are more vulnerable to tough market conditions next is multi cap multi cap equity funds invest in companies of all sizes and across sectors unlike large or mid cap funds they can decide how money gets allocated between big mid size and small companies This flexibility also allows them to make changes in the portfolio as market conditions change. Some important points. It eliminates the need for buying different funds for comprehensive market coverage. It offers superior returns than large cap but offer lesser returns when compared to mid and small cap funds. Next, focus funds. Focus mutual funds are equity funds that follow a strategy of having a concentrated portfolio. These funds cannot have more than 30 stocks in their portfolio by regulation. Although there is no limitation on market cap or sectors it can invest in. Next is international mutual funds. International funds are equity funds that invest in stocks of companies listed outside of India. These funds help you invest in some of the biggest companies in the world like apple amazon google etc the next type of mutual fund is balance advantage balance advantage funds invest in a mix of stocks and debt instruments 
Investment in equities would get investors market-linked returns. Investment in debt securities are generally less risky than equity with a moderate return potential. This may help reduce the overall risk of the portfolio and endeavor to limit losses during steep market corrections. However, they keep changing this allocation based on the market conditions to provide you optimal returns with minimal risk. The next type of mutual fund are debt funds. Debt funds invest in securities which generate fixed income like treasury bills, corporate bonds, commercial papers, government securities and many other money market instruments. All these instruments have a pre-decided maturity date and interest rate that the buyer can earn on maturity. Hence the name fixed income securities. The returns are usually not affected by fluctuations in the market. Therefore, Debt securities are considered to be low-risk investment options. Debt funds are preferred by individuals who are not willing to invest in a highly volatile equity market. A debt fund provides a steady but low income relative to equity. It is comparatively less volatile. If you found this video helpful, then do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, bye bye.